My name is Kevin Hart, talented model slash uh, actor slash stuntman um, slash uh, hand model. It's two different separate variations of what I do. There's modeling and hand modeling. But I stepped out of my comfort zone to do animation. In this particular case, I played George Beard in the movie Captain Underpants or DreamWorks Captain Underpants. I feel like you can't have kids and not be familiar with the the Captain Underpants franchise. You know, uh, I guess you could say poop and and farts and potty talk are legendary in my house, uh, which is which is why my son is a is a major fan of Captain Underpants. So uh, the movie came up, and when my name was thrown in the hat, I was excited about the opportunity, and this is one of those things that I simply wanted to do. For my kids, you know, I wanted to do it because yes, it's a great franchise, but this is something that my kids could identify with and think that their dad was the coolest person in the world for doing. So that's why I jumped at it. But uh, I was I was given the opportunity, you know, um, the powers to be at the studio and the producers and the director that they had at the time all were excited about the name Kevin Hart when it came up. And luckily enough, I stepped up to the plate and did what I was supposed to do. Principal Krupp is our He's our bad guy to a certain degree uh, in the character. I think we have two bad guys. Principal Krupp acts as a bad guy because he's the guy who wants to fund the stop. Uh, in my household, we would call that guy the fun police. You know, if you're having too much fun, if you're not listening, if you're, if you're just laughing and doing pranks all the time, then you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Principal Krupp is that guy. He's an enforcer. He's an enforcer of education in school. Uh, anything outside of that doesn't sit well with Principal Krupp. Underpants are always funny. You can't go wrong. And the guy that pulls his underpants up right below his chest, uh, I think that's that's a, <laughs> that's area for automatic laughter and jokes. Um, we could have put some hair on him. You know, we could have. But we chose not to. So it's not bad. I, I, I applaud it. It makes me laugh every time I hear the tra-la-la-la. Uh, and every time you see the guy with the underpants in the in a hero-like stance. You know, you're you're making fun of your... Your quote unquote cool superheroes that do the underpant with a tight in the cape, a la Superman, Batman, Robin. You know, you've seen those guys before. So, this is a, a truncated version of a guy that's in practically, it looks like a diaper to some degree. It's a, it's a diaper with a cape, but it's cool. Ed Helms brings so much, man. Ed Helms is a very talented, funny guy. You know, I think uh, he's definitely been in the business long enough to know what to do uh, to, to enhance the character. He didn't, he didn't do anything to take away. Everything he did was, was add. Uh, and the, the cadences and the nuances that he brought to the character helped amplify uh, Captain of the Pants into the guy that he is on screen today. You know, And the same with Principal Krupp. Ed Helms did a great job of the, the back and forth and just the transformation um, from making a separation uh, within the two identities that this one character had. We never all were in the booth together. You know, we were never able to play off of one another, but I was able to hear the work that they did prior to me coming in, and, you know, I'm, I would assume that they were able to do the same. And when you see that the, the cast members that you have are all bringing their A-game, they're all coming to work prepared and, and, and just having a good time with the, uh, I guess you can say, with the, the process of, evolving your character. Um, I can say that they all did an amazing job. David and I had great chemistry. Um, you know, I think a typical session was was going in and, and going over the lines and letting David stay true to this process. You know, uh, David liked to, he likes to get it. You know, our sessions was about getting what we needed and walking out of there confident that he had everything that he needed to go and execute the scene the way that we wanted to execute it. But I, I was very comfortable with it, man. He knows what he's doing, and he knows how to get what he wants. The most fun part about making the movie, seeing the progression of the character, you know, seeing it start from a black and white sketch, uh, and then pieces of color added to it. Um, then the full range of uh, description within animation is there in front of you and you're like, wow, this is going to be my character. And then you get to see your character animated and moving 
gradually. You know, you start to see things pick up. You start to see your facial expressions that they've taken. Literally, the the building of the character to me was the most interesting part. Like that's what that's what I loved. I love seeing George come to life. 